Hey everybody, Pat with Bird Brain Model Rails again. Today, we're going to discuss applying static graphs without the use of one of those expensive applicators. Uh, as you can see, I've already started part of this project, but we're going to, I'm going to go in and show you how we do this with something real inexpensive like a little $2 kitchen sink strainer. So bear with me a second, I'll get everything ready. The first thing we want to do is apply some glue to this area. And I'm going to lay this a little thick right off the bat, like so. Then I'm going to take, believe it or not, an automotive body filter applicator. And I'm going to come in here and just kind of spread that glue a little bit. I don't want to get it too shallow. I'm going to make it, I'm going to leave a little bit of depth in there. Like so. Bring it in like, we're just going to float that around in there. And I'll come back in with a, with a brush to kind of catch the other edges of that. Now the nice thing about Elmer's glue or your Woodland Cena's craft glue is number one, they both dry clear. The wonderful thing about Elmer's glue is it's a lot less expensive than Woodland Scenics glue. That spread in there like so. I don't want it real thin. I don't want it real thick either. I'm just kind of paste that in. And remember, we're doing landscaping. So, you know, there's nothing perfect about how we do this when it comes to final results. Always remember, guys, you know, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, less is more. So when it comes to completion and shapes of our landscape, that can all be adjusted at another point. Now, for this project, I'm using four millimeter static grass in straw. So I'm gonna grab my grass and a, tea and a teaspoon and I'm gonna just fill up, put, put a good scoop into my strainer. And also, folks, I'm doing this over some parchment paper. So then all I do is I just come in here and I just bounce that strainer. I get a nice good coat in there. It'll look nice and thick when we're done. Now, I've also already undercoated my media with an earth tone. So that when it's all dry, that's what you're going to see at the base. Now, we're going to have some excess on here. And this is why I use parchment paper in, in, in this project. Because I'm building this in modular sections. Now, I've applied that, and all I'm going to do... I'm going to stand it up and just bump it and knock the excess off onto that parchment paper. And just leave that like so for now. And we're going to set that to the side to dry. When it's dry, and, and while, we're, while I get that out of the way, let me clean up this glue I've got on the parchment paper. I don't want that in my grass. Put that out of the way. Like so. Okay, now all I have to do and just roll up that parchment paper like this. Pick it up. And just dump that right back into my container. So I have not wasted any of my grass in the process of doing all this. Like I said, when that dries, we'll come back and show you how that really looks with the undercoat. So give me a bit, we'll be, right, we'll be back with that. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up this entire piece. Now, I don't know if you noticed as I was doing this initially, I used an earth undercoat from right here this way. And then on the other side from right here over to here, I used a green undercoat. 
which as you can see gives me a little bit different uh, hue and coloring under my static grass. Now, what I really like, even though it's not a static grass applicator, you can see when I do a close up here, how well that grass is standing up with just a little sifter. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see all of our other videos as we upload them. Uh, Y'all have a great day. I hope this was helpful.